Hey everybody, it's Amanda and it's Thursday and it's time for my grocery haul. Hey guys, before we get started, I just want to say a little word about the paid promotion little tab thing that's at the bottom of YouTube right now. And uh, if you don't know, YouTube has a little box for people who make videos to check if they have some kind of paid promotion in their video. And a lot of times people would put that on their video if they have a sponsored video. And I don't have too many sponsored videos, but a lot of times I do share with you links of affiliate products and things that I think might be helpful to you. And uh, it's just always things that I like. It's actually very few things that I share with you on here. But YouTube's rules are kind of ambiguous and I don't want to cross any lines with YouTube. And a lot of you guys have asked me about that little paid promotion thing. So I'm just telling you that from now on, it's going to be on all of my videos because sometimes I share with you links and I don't, like I said, I don't want to get on YouTube's bad side. So when you see it there, just know that I might share with you a paid promotion. I actually have a disclosure that I will share with you down in the description box. You can check that out. And it basically just tells you that, you know, I'm going to share my honest opinion about things. And I might recommend something and I might get a commission from it. But I'm going to be honest with you and tell you what I think about it. And hopefully you know that that's the truth anyway. So anyway, check that out if you're interested in it. But I just wanted to let you know because people have asked me about it. And that's what that's about. So just know that it's going to be there and just we're going to keep going like we usually do and really nothing has changed so anyway that's that wanted to let you know back to our haul okay so i actually have a bonus haul for you this weekend i'm going to show you the bonus haul first so this weekend was the dollar general clearance sale and i actually went and picked up a few things and i hadn't had time to edit the video because i've been doing everything to get ready for croctober which i'm going to tell you more about in a minute but i am going to go ahead and show you the footage from what i got at the discount sale because i got some great deals and i want to make sure that you see it so just a few things but here you go this is my haul from the dollar general clearance sale today was the clearance sale and I determined that I was gonna get out early in the morning, so I did, like not too long after they opened, and just see what was available. I, I really didn't want to just spend, 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 but anything that was something that we regularly use, that I could find at a good price, I was going to snag it. And I was a little kind of concerned, thinking, you know, you probably won't get that much. But I will tell you, there are $13 general stores within a nine mile radius of my house. That is completely, completely accurate. I live in the South. But um, the only stores that I found deals at were the two stores that I lovingly call my honey hole. Both of them. They're both my different honey holes. So those are the places that I always find a good deal. I did last time. I'll link to my last Dollar General clearance sale. And you can see... I always, always end up with deals there. But first I'm gonna tell you what I spent and show you my receipts, you guys. I spent $40.89. Now that's just two stores. I actually went to one store, bought a bunch of stuff for $14. Then the other store I found a good deal and I left and I thought, you know, I need to get some more. So I went back and I got some more and I spent $40.89, so not too bad, very reasonable for a Dollar General clearance sale. Let me show you these receipts, okay? I'm not even gonna show you it on the table. This one is so long, look. I can't even hold up the bottom of it. Look how long that thing is. That is the first store I went to. I'm gonna show you the total on that one in a second. The other ones, they're not terribly long, but whew, we got some deals, let me show you. Okay, so this is my really long receipt, and that is it folded in half. And it is $14.67, and then this one is $14.98, and this one is $11.24. Let me show you what I got. Ta-da! Toilet paper! Yay! That was actually at the second store I went to, that I went back and got more. And the first store, I just found the cat food and the black beans. So let's talk about the first store. I actually thought, well, I'll go in. I needed cat food anyway. So I was looking and I saw they had a bunch of this marked down. Now they had it on the clearance for 45 cents. Of course, I got it for half of that and they actually rang them all up as 22 cents rather than 23. So this section over here, they're in stacks of five. So five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. I got 35 of them. And this stack is the, let me see if I can read it here, real turkey and giblets and sauce. So 22 cents each. That's awesome. 
Over here, this is 19 of the stickers on it, so you can't read it. Okay. Real Ocean Whitefish and Tuna and Sauce. And then I had just four of this one, which is Real Chicken and Fish and Gravy. So, uh, but the, you know what? A lot of really good um, prices on cat food, and you know how many cats we have, y'all. We need cat food on a good sale. So black beans, I actually wish I'd gotten more of these. And maybe I will if I do, I'll let you know. But these were only a dollar and they were half price at 50 cents. So I was thinking about canning some of these up, but you know me and you know that I don't often get to canning. So I didn't want to get too many and just have a bunch of dry beans. So, but I still might go back. 50 cents is such a great deal. So anyway, there's that. So then the other store I went to, I, I almost didn't see it. This was tucked in a corner and it had a 50% off tag on it. And I said, well, let me get four. They rang them up and it was $3.50 each. So that was the first one that was $14.98 for four of them. And I was walking out and I was thinking, well, $3.50 each, it's just a little over $10 for three more. And I thought, you know, right now, toilet paper is $10 for a package. <laughs> so I thought, well, I'll just go ahead and get three more, and that is it. I won't get any more. So I got seven of them, and that's what I got. But, um, you know, we, we have loads of toilet paper where we are. We don't have any kind of limits. Everything is good. The shelves were completely packed. So I didn't feel bad taking it, and now we have loads. I mean... This is a great price, you just can't beat it. So that is what I picked up at the clearance sale this week. Okay, so you've now seen the Dollar General haul. I'm going to show you what we have done this week with our groceries. So I'm gonna take you to the board and show you my totals. And it is over here. I spent $7.62 at the discount grocery, $13.35 at Ingalls, and $23.65 at Aldi for a total of Forty-four sixty-two. So that is what I have spent. I'm going to show you my receipts and then I'm going to show you what we actually purchased. So here are the receipts and you can see Aldi twenty-three sixty-five, Ingalls thirteen thirty-five, and the discount store seven dollars and sixty-two cents. And over here you can see what I purchased. And lady decided to run away. But what we have are um, over here. I have everything from Aldi, Ingalls discount grocery. So you can see that um, I mostly just got produce and kind of side items today because I actually am getting my butcher box here in a few days. So let's start over here with Aldi. The grapes were on sale for 69 cents a pound. So I got this whole bag for $1.86. So that was a really good deal and I was glad to get that. And then um, I actually already opened this bag of tortilla chips we sat down and had a little sandwich um but these were 92 cents and then I got a bag of peppers mini peppers here and that was two dollars and 79 cents and then we got this bag of avocados it actually has quite a few avocados in it let me just see if you can see there's like six of them for two dollars and 39 cents that was a really good deal and the bananas actually came from Ingalls. I put them in the wrong spot, so we're going to ignore those for a minute. But the apples were $1.99 a bag. So I grabbed two bags of those. Those were a really good deal. The taco seasoning was $0.39. Cents. Pistachios, $5.99. The romaine was actually really good at Aldi, and it wasn't good anywhere else. So it, we grabbed that there. It was $2.19. We got some white mushrooms for $1.29. And we also got these grape tomatoes for $1.39. So that's a lot of the produce and things that we picked up at Aldi. And I was glad to find it because I really didn't find much at my discount store or at Ingalls. So we'll start over here with Ingalls. Um, Brianna asked for this $3 bag of chips. So I grabbed that for her. And I actually saw this Beyond Breakfast sausage. And I've been wanting to make vegan uh, biscuits and gravy for a vegan friend so I picked this up I haven't tried it yet but I've heard good things about it so I'm gonna give it a try hopefully it's good um, but anyway so and I also got the soy free earth balance for 438 oh and this was 350 by the way grab these carrots they were a dollar 28 
And then these bananas were 93 cents. So that was a pretty good deal. And then over here, these are the only things I got at my discount grocery store. So I got baby spinach for $1 for this big box. So that was really good. And this container of romaine was only 50 cents. And then these Beyond Sausages, which they're normally $6.99 at um, Ingles on sale. Um, if you get them full price, they're $8.99. So it was $1.99 each. And that is just a tremendous deal. So I got three of those. And you know what, these being you know $9 each if you get them at regular price, that's like $36 right there in, in terms of what the retail price was. And I got all of this for $44. So I mean, the savings that we got here is really great. And I have lots of fresh produce and things to make foods this week. Okay, so I have not made my menu plan yet. I have been so busy getting everything ready for Croptober and it's just been, craziness around here. I know lady, my cat, she's even she is going crazy. So just forgive my craziness for right now and just enjoy the great things that we have going on with Croctober, which if you don't know, I'm going to link down in the description box below. Croctober, we have I think 28 channels doing 31 videos, one for every single day in October. We're gonna be doing Crock-Pot and Instapot meals. And we have a really great Crocktober extravaganza group on Facebook where you, if you join that, you can actually enter. We're giving away Crock-Pots and Instapots all month. We're sharing all kinds of tips and videos and tricks. We're having bonus live videos in the group every day. So it is just, it is going to be a good time if you wanna take part, you can. Um, you can watch all the videos for free on YouTube. But if you want to take part in all the extras, you got to go to the Facebook group because that is where we can connect and communicate. So I'm going to have links, like I said, for everything down in the description box below. And uh, this grocery haul, really small one, but like I said, I have my butcher box coming. I have a video on that probably this weekend and you can see all the things that I get with that. So I really didn't need to get very much meat at all. I didn't get any meat at all. <laughs> so so I'm, I'm all stocked up there and we're going to be good for a a while and by the way if you want to get your butcher box it the last few days are this weekend i think it's only till october 5th that you can actually get your two pounds free for the life of your subscription if you sign up for butcher box now i will also have an affiliate link for that down in the description box if you want to check out the details but you just got a few days left so get on get in on that while you can so there's just so much going on right now but it is good stuff. Tomorrow, I will have my Crocktober video, which is Crockpot Lasagna. So make sure you come and check that out. I'm very excited to share it with you. And it's one of my family favorites. Like my family loves that. And a lot of times we serve that when we have guests over, like when I'm trying to impress people and it doesn't stress me out. So I think you'll really, really like it. So anyway, all right, that is it. Thank you all for hanging out with me. I really appreciate you. Come back tomorrow and see my crockpot lasagna. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye.